Hi and welcome to Toya Create. My name is Toya Edit. First of all, I need to say uh, compliments of the season to you all, depending on when you are watching this video. Uh, compliments of the season and I wish you a beautiful and more fruitful 2021. In this video, we're going to be looking at what I would call a hidden feature in um, Photoshop. There's a feature called Generate Image Asset, which we will look at in this video. All right, in Photoshop, there's an uh, a hidden feature. I would call it a hidden feature, which is, is called uh, Image Asset. Uh, generate Image Asset, which you find in File, Generate, and Image Asset. So what happens is that uh, depending on what you have created, for example, this uh, design you see on screen right here, uh, was a Christmas um, um, uh, card, a simple card that I did, uh, created for Instagram. But I also made a video out of it, just a simple video where this bell, you know, was um, swinging. So how do it, I export these elements to reassemble in my um, video creation application? What I just did is that I used this feature on the file generate image asset and how that works is that once you have your image or your design already created on the different layers one thing you have to make sure that they are on separate layers if you want to have them separate or if you want uh, certain things to go as a group you group them in a folder and name that folder so um much uh, without much being said let me just show you how that is done one thing you need to um do first of all you have to go to file generate image asset but before i click that let me go and show you um what the folder where i have this file looks like so this is a toya creates christmas 2020. let me go back you see that we have just two files here i go back to the file so what i need to do which is the important key is that i name these i give these files uh the layer names extensions because you can actually generate um, uh, image assets as JPEG, as PNG or GIF from uh, your layer content. All right, so first of all, I'll show you how this is done. So I go to leaves, I just name it dot, um, since I wanted to go with this background, for example, let, let me escape out of that. If I uh, click on the eye to hide you notice that the image is on its own layer no background but it has a drop shadow so how do i x um, generate that and take it out of this file so what i do is that i have dot png so that it goes with the transparency once i do that and i i hold i click on save Control s let me go back to that folder and you see what happened if you notice nothing really happened right now so let's go back to my Photoshop. I go to File, Generate, Image Asset. So once I do that, I go back to that uh, uh, folder and we see that a new folder has been generated with the name Toya Creates Christmas 2020 Assets. And what do we see inside? Just the um, Christmas um, um, leaves and this decoration that I named this folder so let's do that for every layer we want to generate assets from so i just named this dot png because i want that bell to be without the background also i named the text dot png the logo dot png and this background i can name it dot jpeg but for this case i'll just leave it dot png because it doesn't really make any difference in this um, case. Make sure this is the dot and I click enter. So I go back to the folder and you see that it has generated the bell, transparent with a transparent background, the leaves, the message, the background and the logo. So that is as simple as that. So let's look at a second example. For example, I have um, the websites that I maybe designed in Photoshop, although there are other tools that um, will do a better job these days. So in this design, I have my logo, I have uh, the hero image, and I have these three images. So if you notice here, the, the, there's a slight difference. These are in folders, and I created these folders to uh, come to hold the name 
and this circle for this logo. For the hero, I have a folder also which uh, contains both this uh, gradient map which has been overlaid on this image and the image itself. Then the bottom part I have the service rules, the one, two, three um, images. So how do I export this? Because it's slightly different. Like I said, this is the folder where I have this logo which contains the text and the base. So what I do, I just come in here, I'll rename this. So let me just uh, change this to lowercase l dot p ng because I want it to go just with the circle, no background. So I could name it Ray Don dash logo PNG. And you remember that we had already checked the generate assets for that other uh, example. But in this case, I make sure this is checked. Image assets just to confirm that is checked. And I save. Let's go back to that folder. And we see that website example, which is the file name, has been generated with my logo with a transparent background. So let's go back to the file and continue. So the hero, I want to carry everything, which is the hero dot, um, I name it PNG. Services, I don't name the, fo uh, the folder in this case because I want to take the uh, three separate images. So what I do, I go into the folder. I name this, I can give this name runner dot, um, let's name this JPEG, JPG. Um, I could say, um, let me name it young man dot JPG. And I name this camera dot JPG. Once I have go back to the folder and we see that it has generated the camera in the sizes that are already created in Photoshop, the hero and the Ray Don logo. All right. So one thing I want to mention is that there are other parameters that you can set for uh, the assets that you want to export. You can specify the quality and the size. You can actually um, give it, you know, certain other parameters, which I won't um, cover in this tutorial. You can check the link down below and see if you're interested, you can read more on those parameters. All right, that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe because every week I bring you new videos. Do take care and catch you in the next one.